Okay. So scroll down and download the latest version of this software, which at the time of making this product is version 3.3.1. Okay. So go ahead and copy it to your desktop and then wait for this process to finish propagating. Okay. So once that's done, go ahead and open up the folder and then scroll down to where you see README. And then double click on the file, click open, and I'm going to open this with Notepad. Okay, so here are the installation instructions for this script. So we have downloaded and unzipped the package, which we have done. The next step is to upload all the files contained in this folder, retaining the directory structure to a web accessible directory on your server. So, in order to do this, you need an FTP client, and I'm using a core FTP. So, what I'm going to do is, I found the file that I'm going to upload, which is SEO panel, and then I'm going to load it to my public underscore HTML directory on my web host. And in order to do this, you need a web host, and you need the host name, the username, and password, which should have all been given to you once you have purchased your web host. So, to upload the files, all I need to do is simply right click on the folder and then select upload. And then the FTP process will start propagating. Okay, so the next part is to create a database. So in order to do that, you must need to log into your control panel management software, which should have been provided to you by your web host. Okay, so since this control panel is using cPanel, then I'm going to scroll down to where I see databases. And then under this option, click on the MySQL database wizard. Okay, so the first step you need to do is enter in a database name. So I'll keep it simple. I'm going to go with SEO panel and then click next step. Next, enter in a username, and then click on the password generator, copy the details, and then paste it to the password form. And then once all your information has been entered, select the create user button. Okay, so your database name, user, and password has been created, so go ahead and copy this information to a text editor. And the reason why you're copying this is because you need it shortly. Select all privileges and then click next step. Okay, so your MySQL database has been created. So once you have accessed the path in which you have uploaded SEO panel to, then go ahead and click on the proceed to next step. Okay, so now you just need to enter in the database details that you just created. So I'm going to pop open my text editor and copy the database name, paste it here. Then next is to copy the database user, which is this right here. Paste it and then a database password, which is this. And then, last but not least, I'm going to enter in the admin email address, which is my email. And then click the proceed to next step button. Okay, so next they tell you that it has been installed successfully, but you must change the permissions. You must change the config slash sp-config.php to avoid security issues, and you must also remove the install directory. So I log into my FTP editor, and the first file I'm going to change is the sp-config.php file. So in order to do this, just right-click on the file, select Properties, and then scroll down to where you see Val, and then enter in 666. 
which are not a good number. <laughs> and then select OK. So once that's done, go ahead and right click on the install directory and select delete because you no longer need the files. And the longer you keep these files on your web host, the higher risk of a security breach you may face. Okay, and then last but not least, click on the temporary file, go to properties, and then enter in the file 777. And then select OK. So once that's done, go back to your web browser and select proceed to admin login. And then you can enter in information about your new website. So and then the URL. The title. Description. And then keywords. And then once you're done, click proceed. And then if you want, highlight, select activate, select OK. And there you have it. So that's how you install SEO panel on your web host.